I have a power supply taken out of a completely dead 75 inch LED TV and in today's video we're going to show you how to fix it. We're going to start with some resistance checks and the first item I want to check is the fuse. We should be seeing a short and unfortunately here we are seeing OL which means open loop so the fuse is blown. Next we're going to check these two transistors. These commonly fail with this model and this model is the BN44-00874C. So let's flip it over and we're going to do a resistance check from the back. And my first reading is zero ohms. So that means that transistor has a dead short on those pins. We have 9.9 .9 kilo ohms over here which is also too low. Another zero ohm, so dead short. And finally another zero ohm dead short. So we'll have to replace those two transistors and the fuse and then we'll do some more resistance checks to make sure the shorts are gone. First thing I want to do is remove the silicone that is around the transistor legs. Like that I can properly solder. And then I'm going to get rid of the smaller particles with my wire brush. We cleaned up the silicone off of the back. We're going to want to do I think the same from the front but first I'm going to unscrew the two transistors from the heat sink. and then lift them off. So I'm thinking actually it might be better for me to leave the silicone on there right now. I'm going to desolder the back first. All right, so we are going to start with desoldering the joints from the back with the desolder pump. And I am actually adding a little bit of fresh solder first to help with better flow. And to confirm, it looks like all of our pins are actually loose, no longer soldered. Looks like actually this pin over here is still a little bit soldered. So what we'll do is from the front side, we can remove this one, but this one is still soldered in. So with the iron, I'll go ahead and melt that from the back. And now that we've removed the transistors, we can clean up this area. These original transistors are labeled 60R190Q, which are N-channel MOSFETs, uh, 600 volt to 20 amps, and we're gonna be replacing them with equivalent transistors. But first, we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup and remove some of the original thermal paste. We'll want to make sure we have new thermal paste installed. Want to make sure the screws are nice and snug. And now we can flip the board over to do our soldering on the back side. And finally we'll clip off the excess. Now we're going to work our way over to the fuse. Now same thing for the fuse, we're going to go ahead and add a little extra new solder first and then desolder. Looks like I didn't do quite good enough of a job, so let's try again. There we go, it actually already fell through right now. And we can go ahead and install our new one. Now this one is a 6.3 amp. 250 volt fuse. And then again, we'll cut off the excess from the leads and let's do some checks again. So we're gonna use the multimeter again 
and in resistance. Let's check our fuse. And of course we have a short as we expect. And over here we want to make sure our transistors are no longer shorted. And we are getting 0 0.8 mega ohms. Let's check over here. 190 kilo ohms. So over here 0 0.8 mega ohms and 3.7 mega ohms. Oh, going down, 0 0.7, but it's still in the mega ohm. So our short is now gone. We can go ahead and live test it. So let's put some power to it and make sure the transistors don't blow, nor the fuse. For our final testing, we're gonna do some live voltage checks. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And I did hear the transformers click on. And first voltage check is gonna be our 13 volt line going to the main board. And we do have 12.88 volts. And let's also take a look at our LED voltage. And we have 282, which is also good. All right, so that confirms our power supply is back up and running. If you found the video helpful or useful, leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.